catch you up on other parts of the bracket, of course, you can follow along at smash.gg slash MSM, or just do this exclamation mark bracket command in chat. We have Eon with two wins, reaching winner's finals of his pool. Alongside Wes, the Little Mac player, Master Mario is doing well. Shine, who you just saw on stream a moment ago, also doing well. Nitro, Chag, Syro, Jason, Canines, Bruce. All 2-0 thus far, as is Taternator, who's on stream at the moment. Nintendo is two. That one guy, who moments ago got his second win alongside Joby, one Kenobi, and the Countess. All of them are 2-0 thus far, and one win away from Winterside, top 16, but it looks like it's gonna be Taternator and Nintendo, each one in one spot exactly there. Only one of them can claim it. Game one, on to PS2. Having the opportunity to speak to Nintendo about some of the character's, you know, main facets, this is a character with which you really just do need stage knowledge because this can, and some of the setups you can do, the throws, of course, with the platforms at different heights, as well as which direction they will send. Do you want to be sending towards which blast zone on any particular stage? And if you can time your B button presses, that can work to your advantage, but not all stages, of course, are created equal. Rapid Jab from Wendy is almost going to kill. We saw the Red Sparks, and he's just going to use the opportunity to get rid of the shooter. Instead, the Gunman with the up smash though, and the second Rapid Jab not quite going to kill either. Mecha Koopa in hand, and just goes for the Nair instead. Taternator is going to be claiming first blood here. Back with the Dare. Backer this time from Nintendo. The gunman will put him back off stage, but one of the biggest buffs that Bowser Jr. players received in Ultimate is the fact that, of course, the cart had always provided a lot more defense, a lot less damage taken, and a lot less knockback, but if a move's hitbox connected with both the cart and the Koopaling in Smash 4, it would count as the Koopaling hitbox, which would be the more damaging of the two. Now if a move connects with both, it's just going to be the card hitbox. So, Taternator able to play a bit more defensive and able to live a bit longer, even after a nice setup from Nintendo. Good tech onto that, what would have been a stage spike as well. Goes right into the down throw, though. Wanted the hard read on the F Smash. Nintendo able to escape in time and makes it back with that clown cart. With these discs, Nintendo can make it back a little bit. That can narrowly not hitting. And makes it back even after taking a stray hit from the gunman. Taternator is going to be the first to claim a second stock, but Nintendo not giving up. No. Stranger to playing with explosives and converts off of the frisbee with a back air. Nintendo, no damage taken. It's going to be 0% at last stock for the two of them. Best of three, a spot in Winterside Top 16 for the taking. Up for grabs here. Nintendo has taken both of his Taternator stocks thus far with a back air conversion off of the frisbee. Will we find it for a third time? Or will Taternator play a bit more carefully and a bit more horizontally just around that? Can applying pressure and just didn't want any part of it, so he's going to have to fall straight into the throw. Taternator's at 140%. This could be kill percent. He did almost find that third conversion. Will he this time? No, just right out of that range. With a, with a bit of range, a couple of up airs put Nintendo dangerously high. Smash not going to connect. Waits out the spinning hitbox and fell out of the F-Smash as well. Nintendo could have been really put in some trouble off stage, but waits it out. Mecha Koopa patrolling the stage for him. Tater still living at 188%. Wendy very, very heavy. A lot more than some give it credit for, but the can is going to come through for Nintendo. The gunman put on the shield pressure all that he needed. And I believe that's going to be a shield poke as well. So Taternator even after taking the first two stocks before Nintendo could, 
just let it slip away at the exact wrong moment. And Vintendo, a steady, steady Duck Hunt player, is going to get the reward. He takes game one, one game away from moving on. Nintendo, meanwhile, on to Taternator's desired counterpick here with PS2 not even going there. I believe this is a stage that both characters perhaps would be happy with, but nevertheless, it's going to be Taternator with an early rapid jab, but Nintendo can get some of these strings if the DI isn't on point from Tater. Of course, he does know the matchup. This is not the first time these two have faced. I believe they've traded sets in the past, so... Of course, there will be some bragging rights on the line here. Spin back onto the stage. Let's go for the dare. Although, just gonna meet the sour spot there. I believe one of the things that does not get phrased enough about the Koopalings in general is just how vertical their up special goes. It allows them to recover from pretty much the depth of the blast zone. But the can is going to take Taters first off. Nintendo still in double digits percent wise. And if you can wait out some of these rapid jabs and these long lasting hitboxes, all the better for him. Frisbee, meanwhile, but the down smash from Taternator going to take Nintendo soaring towards the blast zone. This time the rapid jet from Nintendo. It does send upwards, so that is something Tater has to be careful of if he's just going to DI outward. And the can is already bouncing out. Has that reversed, so did provide the pressure he needed to make it back even without the help of the ledge. Back here, as he lands and just pokes the can out, but Taternator will utilize the cart to slip underneath it. Gets rid of the gunman and the Mecha Koopa does its job, latches onto Nintendo. Up air will pull Nintendo up to 115%. But Nintendo just ran into his own can there. Out of the range of a back air conversion now, so Nintendo has to seal that out, perhaps the old fashioned way. Hart going to run into him, colliding forward. He's just going to be sent underneath the stage. Although he did dip past the ledge, that was opportunity for Nintendo to convert, but nevertheless, he's going to find the kill anyway, and Taternator, one more stock until he's sent to losers, waits out the Mecha Koopa with a shield, and early combo puts Tater onto 23%. Wanted to throw him into either the Mecha Koopa or the Can. Two explosives on stage, but either throw will meet its mark. Up smash this time from Nintendo. A lot of rage on there. And even though Tater did only connect with the cart hitbox the first couple of times, just that added rage sitting at 